Welcome back. It is time now for Great Day Food. And today we're talking all about, well, it's not really sushi. We just learned. It's yes. It's maki. Maki mono. Yeah. yeah. Right? Is that right? Did I yeah. get it right? You did. All right. This, again, it isn't just regular rolls. At Maki Night, you get to learn how to make them on your own. Yeah. Here with us now is Sarah Wingard, uh, Maki Night founder and head chef. So you don't own a brick and mortar. You own an, an event space where you teach people how to sushi it up. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. So we do public events right now, Fridays and Saturdays, um, and classes are open for December and on. Okay. Um, and then we also offer uh, private events that, you know, you can do your birthday party your bachelorette party, things like that. Oh. And then we also do what I like to call Maki Night on the go, which is we come to your house, your business, or an event space that you rent out. That's okay. awesome. And, Pacific, Pacific and Sarah, let me, uh, do, can you explain the difference between the three, you know, we were talking about sushi, sashimi, and shishimamu. Huh? <laughs> yes, yeah, so there's three types of sushi um, that are the most common. There's uh, your typical sushi, which is a piece of fish. It's a sushi-grade fish over the rice. Okay. It's a small ball of rice. There's sashimi, which is just the fish itself. And okay. then there's Maki Mo which is what I will be showing you how to make today. And that's Makimono. what we typically would say is sushi, it's the roll. Yes. It's okay. the roll. Exactly. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. So how we do we begin? Something. Yeah, okay. I something to so we have to put on. our gloves on. Yes. Right. They're on. So, um, the reason yep. why we wear gloves, okay. you got it, um, is because the rice that we're working with is very, very sticky. So if sticky you were to rice. use, yes, if you were to use bare hands, it would just be on your hands and nothing would stay on the actual roll. Okay. 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 So what you want to do when you're getting ready to make this at home um, or at Maki Night is you want to wipe down the surface that you're working on. What are you using? Slate there? This is a black slate kind of Like yes. a chalkboard type thing? Kind of, yeah. Okay. yeah. You can actually um, write with chalk on this. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Terrific. Um, so the reason why we do that is because the seaweed that we're working with, if you want to grab a piece for me. Grab a piece of seaweed. If you can separate them because it's kind of hard. Yeah. Um, it's good? a dry, yes, roasted piece of seaweed. Um, as you see, it's kind of, yeah, I always tell oh, everyone, feel it, touch it, smell it. It smells. Yeah. Not too bad. Smell though. good. All right, very good. You put can, it, you can, yeah, you put can put it, it right there. Okay. Yep. So what you want to do is you want to put it on a wet surface because it's dry, um, and once it absorbs a little bit of water, it actually gets more flexible, a little so bit okay. more pliable. Okay. Exactly. All right. And um, if you see on the says um, the seaweed, you have a rough side and a smooth side. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a little shiny. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you always want to put the rice on the rough side. I did the right thing. You did. That's good awesome. Job. Okay. Because it just sticks better. Sure. Awesome. Now if you want to grab a little bit of rice for me, nice big handful. A nice big like this much? Yep. Well, there you go. And then you want to just put it right in the left corner. The whole thing? Yep. Like the use a lot of rice. So one thing I tell everybody is you don't realize how much rice you're eating when you're making maki rolls. Mm -hmm. okay. You're eating a ball of rice per roll. Wow. So a lot of people will go out and eat like three, four rolls and they're not realizing I'm it's eating a lot of a rice. Lot of rice. Yeah, that's a lot yeah. of rice. Then what you, if you want to help me out, if you want to grab it, just pinch it and kind of stretch it out going from left to right. Just okay. finish that line off. Yeah, right? don't mess it up. You know what? You've got it. I'm gonna do this like a professional, okay? Perfect. And then you wanna spread that rice down to cover the whole piece of seaweed. Yep, you wanna be nice and gentle with it. Oh boy. Oh I know boy. it's really sticky. Oh there you go. Yeah, look at that. We can add some on. Yeah, we can add more. Okay. Why not? Throw some more rice in there. Throw some more Maybe on if you put a proper amount of rice on. You know what, Katie? <laughs> Perfect. Is All that right. too much now? Nope, that's fine. I'm going to go in and fix it a little bit. All right, go ahead. So what you want to do when you're spreading the rice is you want to be very, very gentle. Um, I like to call your tickle fingers so you can tickle the rice down. Make sure you're covering all of that seaweed. <laughs> You're tickling my And that's rice. perfect. You want it to be nice and fluffy, no big bald spots, just like that. And then what you want to do is okay. grab the sesame seeds for me sesame and just seeds. sprinkle those on top. And the shaker. Yep, shaker, oh. yep. yep. Okay. Kind of parmesan cheese. Yep, sprinkle as much as you want. Okay. We like sesame. I know, I love sesame. I'm like, All if right. you don't like them, don't use them. If you're like me, just keep going. Yeah. All right, very sesame. good. There you good, go. Good. Okay. And now what we want to do, I teach everybody how to make the rolls with the rice on the outside with your ingredients on the inside. Okay. Um, the reason for that is it's a lot easier to do it that way, mm -hmm. and that way you can fit a lot more in your roll. We only Since, have a minute left in this segment. Okay. So what you want to do is flip it over. Okay. I'm going to do this a little bit faster. So, so you what wanna, do you have there? This is crab stick, um, just regular crab stick. Okay. And then um, you're going to put cucumber. So this is like a regular California roll? Yes, regular California roll. You want your ingredients to be nice and even, just like that. Okay. And then some avocado. And then some avocado on top. And again, Beautiful. this is something that you would learn to do in the class. Yes. You make sure everything looks good, and then you just want to roll. Look at you. Everything looks good. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I'm going to just finish it off since we don't have a lot of time. Okay. Give it a nice shape. Make sure your ingredients are nice and tight what in there. So when you're. former? Yes. It's awesome. It's a bamboo shape. It's like bamboo, okay. Yes. And then when you're done shaping it, all you have to do is cut it. 
and then you want to slice it in half, put the two halves next to each other, cut and it two more times. Right. And then you get your little sushi rolls. Look at that. How amazing is that? Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. All right. I got to go. For more information, visit MakiNight.com or check them out on social media at Facebook.com slash MakiNight. That's M-A-K-I Night or on Instagram at Maki.com. Night. Love it. What Sarah, a fun... what a delight what a yeah. delightful what a delightful human being you are. Oh thank you. <laughs> and your husband is right over here. I know. Yes. Wanna get in here real quick, husband? Julia, yeah, get Come in. in here. Wave to the audience. What's happening, everybody? <laughs> I love it.